Can you really have desserts on the carnivore diet? You might think a diet strictly based on meat and animal products leaves no room for something as delightful as dessert. You might even be thinking, that's bloody madness. But let me tell you, you're in for a treat. We're about to blow your mind with some seriously delicious carnivore desserts. Think creamy cheesecakes, light and fluffy mousses, and even a cheeky twist on a breakfast classic. And the best part? We're keeping it strictly carnivore with just a touch of fruit for that extra burst of flavor. Get ready to discover a whole new world of dessert possibilities that won't kick you out of ketosis. We're about to show you five easy fruit-based carnivore desserts that will satisfy your sweet tooth while keeping you on track with your carnivore lifestyle. Get ready to indulge. First up, we're tackling a classic, cheesecake. But not just any cheesecake, a carnivore cheesecake that will blow your mind. Now I know some of you might be thinking, cheesecake on a carnivore diet? Get out of here, but hold on because this is a game changer. But trust me on this one. This isn't your average cheesecake, it's a carnivore's dream. It's rich, creamy, and oh-so-satisfying. We're starting with a base made from almond flour and butter. This combination creates a deliciously nutty and buttery crust. Now before you start throwing your rolling pins at the screen, remember we're keeping this strictly carnivore. No grains, no gluten, just pure goodness. Almond flour is simply blanched and ground almonds, and it adds a lovely, nutty flavor and a bit of texture to our base. It's a perfect alternative to traditional flour. Next, we're moving on to the star of the show, the cheesecake filling. This is where the magic truly happens. We're using full fat cream cheese, of course, because let's be honest, fat is where the flavor is. The cream cheese gives our cheesecake that rich and creamy texture we all love. We'll loosen it up with some heavy cream, add a touch of sweetness with a sugar substitute like stevia or erythritol, and bind it all together with some eggs. This combination ensures a smooth and luscious filling. Now here's where the magic happens. We're going to gently fold in a handful of fresh berries. This adds a burst of flavor and a beautiful color to our cheesecake. You can use whatever berries you fancy. Raspberries, blueberries, strawberries, the world is your oyster. Each berry brings its own unique taste and texture. Just remember, a little goes a long way, so don't go overboard with the fruit. We want the berries to complement the cheesecake, not overpower it. Pour the filling over your prepared base and pop it in the oven. The baking process will bring all the flavors together beautifully. We're looking for a beautiful golden brown on top and a slight jiggle in the center. This ensures that the cheesecake is perfectly baked. Once it's done, let it cool completely before digging in. This step is crucial for the cheesecake to set properly. The result? A luscious creamy cheesecake with a hint of sweetness and a burst of fresh berry flavor. It's a delightful treat that satisfies your sweet tooth while staying true to your carnivore lifestyle. It's rich, it's decadent, and it's absolutely carnivore approved. So go ahead, indulge in this symphony of flavors and enjoy every bite. Sometimes the simplest things in life are the most satisfying. Take this next dessert for example, whipped cream and strawberries. It's light, it's refreshing, and it takes all of five minutes to whip up. Now I know what you're thinking. Whipped cream? That's it? Don't underestimate the power of perfectly whipped cream, my friends. It's all about technique and using the right ingredients. We're using heavy whipping cream, of course, because we want those beautiful, stiff peaks. Make sure your cream is nice and cold, then grab your whisk and get to work. If you're feeling lazy, you can use an electric mixer, but there's something quite therapeutic about whisking by hand. As you whisk, you'll notice the cream starting to thicken. Keep going until you have soft peaks, then add in a touch of sweetness with your favorite sugar substitute. I like to use a bit of vanilla extract as well, just to enhance the flavor. Once you're happy with the consistency and sweetness of your whipped cream, it's time to assemble our dessert. Hull and slice some fresh strawberries. I like to keep mine nice and chunky, but you can dice them if you prefer. Spoon a generous dollop of whipped cream onto a plate, top with your sliced strawberries, and voila. You've got yourself a simple, elegant, and utterly delicious carnivore dessert. Let's move on to something a bit more sophisticated. A carnivore egg custard with apple slices. This dessert is all about delicate flavors and creamy textures, and it's surprisingly easy to make. The base of our custard is, you guessed it, eggs. We're using whole eggs for richness and creaminess, and we're sweetening them with a touch of erythritol. You can use stevia or any other sugar substitute you prefer, but I find erythritol gives the custard a lovely, subtle sweetness. To give our custard a bit of depth, we're adding in a splash of heavy cream and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now, here's where things get interesting. We're going to infuse our custard with the subtle flavor of apple by simmering it gently in a water bath with a few slices of apple. Line a baking dish with parchment paper, 
pour in your custard mixture, and arrange your apple slices on top. Carefully place the baking dish in a larger roasting pan, and fill the roasting pan with hot water until it reaches halfway up the sides of the baking dish. Bake in a preheated oven until the custard is just set, but still has a slight jiggle in the center. This will take about 45 minutes to an hour depending on your oven. Once the custard is cooked, let it cool completely in the water bath before serving. The result is a smooth, velvety custard with a hint of apple flavor that will tantalize your taste buds. Next up, we're indulging in a light and airy carnivore mousse with a vibrant raspberry sauce. This delightful combination is sure to impress your taste buds and leave you craving more. This dessert is perfect for those times when you want something sweet and satisfying without feeling weighed down. It's a treat that feels indulgent yet light, making it an ideal choice for any occasion. The base of our mousse is, once again, our trusty friend, heavy whipping cream. This ingredient is key to achieving that rich, creamy texture we all love. We're whipping it to stiff peaks, then gently folding in a mixture of cream cheese, softened butter, and a touch of sweetener. This combination creates a smooth and luscious mousse that melts in your mouth. You can use your favorite sugar substitute here, or even a bit of honey, if you're feeling adventurous. The choice of sweetener can subtly change the flavor profile, so feel free to experiment. Now here's where we add a touch of decadence. This step is crucial for elevating the mousse to a whole new level of deliciousness. We're flavoring our mousse with a hint of vanilla extract and a pinch of sea salt. The vanilla adds a warm, aromatic note while the sea salt enhances the overall flavor. The salt helps to balance out the sweetness and enhances the overall flavor of the mousse. It's a small addition that makes a big difference. Once your mousse is all mixed up, spoon it into individual serving dishes and pop them in the fridge to chill for at least an hour. This chilling time is essential for the mousse to set properly. This will allow the mousse to set and the flavors to meld together beautifully. The wait might be tough, but trust me, it's worth it. While the mousse is chilling, we're going to whip up a quick raspberry sauce. This sauce adds a vibrant, tangy contrast to the rich mousse. Simply combine a handful of fresh raspberries with a squeeze of lemon juice and a touch of sweetener in a small saucepan, and cook over low heat until the raspberries break down and the sauce thickens slightly. The lemon juice adds a refreshing zing. Once your mousse is chilled and set, drizzle it generously with the raspberry sauce and prepare to be amazed. The vibrant red sauce not only looks stunning but also adds a burst of flavor. The tartness of the raspberries cuts through the richness of the mousse, creating a perfectly balanced and utterly delicious dessert. Each bite is a harmonious blend of flavors and textures that will leave you wanting more. For our final carnivore dessert extravaganza, we're shaking things up a bit with a breakfast-inspired treat. Meat-based pancakes with blueberries. This recipe is perfect for those mornings when you're craving something sweet and satisfying, but still want to stay on track with your carnivore lifestyle. Imagine waking up to the aroma of sizzling pancakes, knowing that they are not only delicious but also packed with protein. Now I know what you're thinking, meat-based pancakes? What in the bloody hell is that? It sounds unconventional, but trust me, it's a game changer. Well, my friends, it's exactly what it sounds like, pancakes made with meat. This unique twist on a classic breakfast dish will surprise and delight your taste buds. We're using a combination of ground meat, eggs, and a bit of almond flour to create a pancake batter that's both flavorful and satisfying. The almond flour adds a subtle, nutty flavor that complements the meat perfectly. Simply combine your ground meat, I like to use a mix of beef and pork for extra flavor, with your eggs, almond flour, and a pinch of salt in a large bowl. This mixture will form the base of our pancake batter. Mix everything together until well combined, then let the batter rest for about 10 minutes to allow the almond flour to absorb some of the moisture. This resting period is crucial for achieving the perfect texture. While the batter is resting, heat a large skillet or griddle over medium heat and grease it lightly with some coconut oil or butter. The choice of fat can add an extra layer of flavor to your pancakes. Once the skillet is nice and hot, spoon dollops of the pancake batter onto the skillet using the back of a spoon to spread them out slightly. Make sure they are evenly spread for uniform cooking. Cook the pancakes for two to three minutes per side or until they're cooked through and golden brown. The key is to get a nice crispy exterior while keeping the inside tender. While the pancakes are cooking, gently fold a handful of fresh blueberries into the remaining batter. The blueberries will add a burst of sweetness and a pop of color. Once all of your pancakes are cooked, stack them up on a plate and top them with the remaining blueberry batter. 
This will create a beautiful layered presentation. Cook for an additional one to two minutes per side or until the blueberries are heated through and the batter is cooked through. The blueberries will become juicy and slightly caramelized. The result? Fluffy, savory pancakes with bursts of juicy blueberries. Each bite is a delightful combination of savory meat and sweet fruit. It's a breakfast dessert hybrid that will have you licking your plate clean. Whether you enjoy it in the morning or as a dessert, this dish is sure to become a favorite. So, there you have it. 5 Easy and Delicious Carnivore Dessert Recipes That Will Satisfy Your Sweet Tooth Without Kicking You Out of Ketosis Who knew sticking to a carnivore diet could be so delicious? If you enjoyed these carnivore dessert ideas, subscribe for more easy carnivore recipes that will help you stick to your diet without missing out on the sweet stuff. We'll be exploring all sorts of culinary delights, from hearty main courses to decadent desserts, all while staying true to the carnivore way. And don't forget to let me know in the comments below which one of these carnivore desserts you're most excited to try. I'm also dying to hear about your own carnivore dessert creations, so don't be shy, let's get cooking you lot.